When you develop an application with Visual Studio 2010 and you want to use the trend, alarm, or gauge control, you will want to set the target framework to not just the client profile but the full .NET framework versions. You will see in the toolbox that we don't have the trend, alarm, or gauge controls visible until we set the target framework to the proper version. To do this, select the Project Properties by right-clicking on the project and select Properties. Under the Application tab for c -sharp application, we set the Target Framework property to include the full version of the .NET Framework. And you can go ahead and target your framework back to the version 2.0 for XP uh, systems if you're only using the WinForm controls, or 3.5 if you're using the WPF. If you target your application to the 4.0 framework, you will need to have the 4.0 framework installed on the application. You will be prompted for this dialog that you need to save any changes before committing this change. And now when you open the form again, you will see the trend, alarm, and gauge components in the toolbox visible. In a Visual Basic project, you will want to select the Compile tab. Under the Compile tab, you'll go to the bottom to select Advanced Compile Options. And there you'll find at the bottom the Target Framework option to select the proper framework version that you would like to select. Again, don't select the client profile if you want to use the trend, alarm, or gauge controls. You can use the OPC controls components with the client framework uh, subset.